because I think people don't, they don't truly believe that God is good. They've, you know, because religion has taught, taught people that, oh, God will do these awful things to you. Um, but that's not, that's not biblical. God is not, he's not evil. He, the devil is not on God's payroll. Now the Bible does say that we'll have trials and tribulations, but we have to understand and truly believe that God is good. He is a good father. He loves us. He is for us, you know, and I think so many times God is like, you know, people think he's waiting up there to hit you over the head <laughs> because you did something wrong. Um, and that's just not, that's not who our father is. He's a good father. Um, in fact, I'm going to read just really quick Psalms 103 verse eight, kind of to that point, because I think you're talking about how important it is that we know this Psalms 103. I'm going to read verses eight through 11. It says, the Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. He does not punish us for all our sins. He does not deal harshly with us as we deserve. So I just want to pause there for a second. It says that he doesn't deal harshly for us as we deserve. He, we are, we're not getting what we deserve. And we know Jesus came in our place. And it goes on to say, his, for his unfailing love, towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. So God's unfailing love for you, if you fear him, is greater than or as great as the height of the heaven above the earth. In other words, God loves you so, so very much. And in the Bible, in Romans, it says that God loved us so much that while we were yet sinners, not even trying to come after him, he sent Jesus to die for us because he is a good father. He loves us so much. He loves you so very much. And that's why, you know, it's so amazing, the blood of Jesus, that now God doesn't even see our sins. He just sees us through the blood of Jesus if we've accepted that free gift. But even before the cross, the story of the Old Testament, if you read through, is a story of a God who was slow to anger, who loved his people, who, who wanted to be good to them. He provided good things to them. It says he caused it to rain on the just and the unjust. God is a good God.